ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for joining the Yasuhisa Tozawa Honorary Symposium. I'm Takashi Ishikawa, key organizer of the symposium. I'd like to thank the speakers. I'd like to talk about the personal history and the achievement of Professor Tozawa. He was my supervisor. Professor Tozawa, passed away on February 15, 2021, at the age of 97 years old. He was born in December 1923, graduated from the Department of Mechanical Engineering, Tokyo Institute of Technology in 1946, worked as an assistant professor at the Tokyo Institute of Technology and was appointed as an assistant professor at Chiba University in 1951. And in 1964, he was appointed as a professor at the newly established Development of Steel Engineering at Nagoya University. He retired from the university in 1987 and at that same time, he received the title of Professor Emeritus of Nagoya University. He was hired as a professor at the Daido Institute of Technology and was appointed president of the university in 1993. During this time, he was he has been consistently involved in research on metal forming. There are a wide variety of research subjects, but among them, seed metal forming, especially bending accuracy and yield locus. Sleep rolling, especially its three-dimensional analysis. Coal forging, especially the variation of flow stress of forging materials. He has made a great contribution to the development of education and technology. He has held numerous positions such as the president of the JSTP, the vice president of the JIRM, the Japanese committee member of the CIRP and ICFG. In 2001, for this achievement, he was awarded and has a medal from Cabinet Office of Government of Japan. Uh, he, I, I heard that he was versatile in sports and hobbies and was quite good at golfing, swimming, water polo, judo, skiing, and ballroom dancing. Next, I'd like to talk about the briefly into uh, his uh, photographs and research contents during his lifetime. This photo is the plenary meeting of ICFZ held in 1984 in Nagoya, Japan. He was the host of this meeting. And you can see some legend professors. Professor Tozawa is here. The Professor Range Marciniak, Professor Kudo, and Osakada. Professor Daiga, etc. Uh, this photo is a plenary meeting of ICFZ 2003. 
editing OSU here if it's a to Java with the Alton, et cetera, with the condo. And this photo is uh, the ladies program of ICFZ 2008. He joined and enjoyed the ladies program at that time. This photo showed the friendly meeting, a banquet of ICFZ 2012 held in Nagoya. Professor Tozawa, Professor Tekkaya. And this photo shows the banquet of ICTP 2014 in Nagoya, Japan. Here is Tozawa, Houghton, Professor Bai, Shuno. Uh, Osakada, Kaya, etc. I'll show you some of his research. Uh, his first research in the university was bending. The pre bending process. It's not a simple deformation, but is bent, stretched, and be bent. Shown in this figure. In order to analyze this deformation, it is necessary to know the behavior of the pre-deformed material with respect to the reverse deformation by bouncing effect. In addition, Analytical and experimental studies were conducted on the deduction of spring back. And the effects of bending, adding tension, and the compression was researched. This figure shows the method of bending, adding compression force. He developed the bent rolling process, which is a new method for bending a flat or a narrow strip in this plane, in its plane. In this process, straight flat bar is rolled between horizontal rows using the conventional rolling mill, and uh, Outgoing roll, roll bar is forced to bend in a lateral direction with a restrain, restricting particle roll placed at the exit of the side of the mill. This figure shows the experimental device. The curvature of the product is determined by the position of adjustable restricting roll and the required force acting on the restricting role increases its full uh, increase in curvature of product and uh, decreases remarkably with the uh, increase in reaction thickness of rolling by rolling. The notable advantage of the bending bend rolling process is that the hard product of rectangular cross section with cross tolerance is obtained by using a conventional rolling mill supplemented simple restricting rolls. This process is applicable to bend several kinds of section or pipes. He studied about the plastic deformation behavior of restrained materials. Experiment to measure the yield surface was carried out by biaxial compression method 
using the rectangular specimen prepared by stacking and uh, green, gluing metal seeds. The outline of the test piece and the pie plane are shown in here, in this figure. These are a major yield surface. of aluminum alloy. In order to represent the results systematically, a yield surface in the stress space or large plastic strain was used. The work, the, the work hardening characteristics for both isotropic and anisotropic materials are discussed. And the rules for an anisotropy induced by this drain and the work for work hardening caused by subsequent strain were determined. An equation which represents the yield surface for large subsequent strain of, of strained materials was proposed. These figures show some example of measured yield focus of pre-strained materials. Uniaxial tension, this direction, Drawing, direction, and the drawing, this direction. The new surface deforms like this. We studied about story drawing. Producing strip with uniform thickness across the widths and the dead flat shape is the main object in the strip rolling technology. So, uh, simulating analytically a rolling process in order to find the optimum path schedule for producing such strip is variable. The flatness defect and the non-uniformity of thickness across strip widths are connected e each other, and the both phenomena result from the same two reasons. One is that the deformation of the strip in the roll gap is not uniform across the widths. The other is that the roll gap during rolling is not uniform along the roll bar. The former is a problem of deformation of the uh, work material, and the latter is that of rolls, and they must be discussed simultaneously. Uh, the three dimensional analysis for strip rolling, in which elastic deformation of rolls and plastic deformation of trip are considered as one system was presented. I use this analysis profile of the road strip can be predicted accurately. This figures, these figures show the calculated, calculated and measured rolling pressure. Uh, he studied about coal forging. Under his initiative, an international collective study of called upsetability test was carried out on an uh, activity of the T STCF of CRRP in 1981. According to the testing procedure specified in the study, Upsetting of specimens should be performed by 
successive incremental reduction in height and unloading continued until crack appeared appearance. This testing method, however, does not reproduce the condition that obtained in the practical upsetting operation. Therefore, the critical reduction in height at which cracking occurs at first were determined by upsetting specimens in a conventional way on a mechanical press and were compared with those obtained on a hydraulic material testing machine. The result obtained in this figure shows that the critical reduction in the steel lower when the upsetting speed becomes high, while those of aluminum alloy remain unchanged. The temperature at the surface of specimen upset by the mechanical press reached about 200 degrees Celsius and 100 degrees Celsius at 70% reduction in height with steel and aluminum alloy respectively. The dependency of the critical reduction upon upsetting speed was supposed to be due to the dependency of the ductility of the materials upon temperature. And he measured, measured raw stresses of forging materials as a material database shown in this figure. Finally, it, uh, his best which left a big mark on the development of industrial technology is uh, a big loss for various fields. We would like to express our uh, con condolences and pray for his souls. Thank you very much for your attention.